time of the season. So, um, what are we doing today? Well, first off, we're going over to our new reporter, Molly Wallaby. Molly Wallaby? That's right, Molly Wallaby. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Morton. This is Molly Wallaby, ace reporter for Kids Arc and here we are on a very special occasion, a sighting, because a very special celebrity is going to be coming here soon. It's Brother Stephen, and here he is now. Brother Stephen, Brother Stephen, over here, over hello. here. Hello, hello Molly, hello everybody, good to see you. Brother Stephen, it's wonderful to see you here today. Can you tell us why you're visiting Morton today? It's to do the Easter walk. And what's that? Well, we're going to walk the journey of Easter. All the things that happened. Wow! Well, you heard it here first, folks. See you shortly for the Easter walk of Brother Stephen. Hooray! You want me to interview a what? I am the ace reporter for Kids Ark. I've got qualifications. Do you think I should be standing here interviewing something that's noisy and smelly and... They're standing behind me, aren't they? Donkey! Donkey, a great personal friend of mine. Wonderful to see you. Uh, welcome to Morton. Do tell us what you're doing here today. Well, hello, Molly. Uh -huh. My name's Dolly, uh -huh. the donkey. Uh -huh. And I'm here to say that Easter is not all about rabbits, chickens, and chocolate. Oh no, not at all. Well, welcome to Morton Donkey. Wonderful to see you. And now it's back to Marty in the studio. What? It's me! Not him! Not like that Marty character! Oh, and I've got to be over in the pathway now as well! Oh dear! Ooh. Hi! Whew. Just made it in time. Welcome to the Easter Walk. We're going to walk along it now. To the clip clap beat of the donkey's feet Everybody sing your praises to the king As the people shout and the stones cry out Everybody sing your praises to the king Everybody sing your praises to the king Go into the village to Jesus to his friends And find a cult that's never had a rider the owner asked to say the cult is for me. And oh dear. At a first glance, that doesn't really tell us much about the Easter story, does it? I know. Let's all be detectives. We need to look for clues. The clues that are left behind. 
Good detectives take photos to help them see and remember. Do you think I'm a good detective? I have taken some photos to help us find out the story. Our story begins on a day called Palm Sunday. Yes, this is the right photo. Can you see Peter the palm tree? Oh dear, he looks quite bald. Why do you think he is bald? Where are his palm branches? Yes, look down. They're right there on the ground. A crowd of people tore them off and waved them and threw them down on the ground so that someone could walk over them. Can you see anything that tells us who walked over the palm branches? Here's another picture to help us. Dolly does look rather embarrassed as she seems to have left her mark behind. Well, here's another picture of Dolly the donkey. What is she looking at? Can you see her prints in the sand? Where would you find sand? I know you like the sand at least so, but this sand is different because it's sand in a desert. There's no water. Dolly is looking at how deep the print is, knowing that she was carrying a very important person. You might know his name. It was Jesus. And she carried him to a party. Well, how do we know that? Look at the photo. Can you see the bread that I am pointing to? That's just one of the clues to the party. Isn't it great to be together with friends and have a party? Perhaps sometime soon we can have a kids' art party. But what are these? Coins laying on the ground. And a sword. Oh, I don't like this. It tells me that Jesus was betrayed for money and that there was trouble. Jesus was arrested by a soldier. Well, what can you see now? I see a stony road, a difficult time, a hard time. What has Molly found on the road? Look closely. What can you see? To help, here's a close-up. Is that a hammer and nails? Ah, <gasps> is that blood? I don't like blood. These are clues that tell us that Jesus died for us. Can you see the shadow? What shape does it make on the ground? Yes, you're right. It is a cross. Well done. How awful, how sad, how terrible that someone has died. The next bit of the walk is just darkness. That suggests to me everybody is feeling very sad and lost as Jesus has died. But what is this at the end of the walk? Flowers bathed in sunlight. Something special must have happened. Well, we're going to learn more about that in our song a little later on. The flowers and light tell me that this is a time of joy and happiness. Why? Because Jesus has risen from the dead. Even better, he wants us to remember this by sharing in a special party, just like the one that he had. In church, every month or so, we share together in that special party and we call it Holy Communion. Here we are, meeting around the table on the Easter walk. Reminding ourselves of the good news that Jesus is alive. I hope you enjoyed walking the Easter pathway. And so it's now back to Marty in the studio. Hey, so Easter's all about good news, isn't it? Well, now we're going to have a sketch about how wonderful it is to hear good news. We all like things coming through the post, don't we? Well, nowadays, of course, it may come electronically. I have a message. You wish to see it now? Well, there's still nothing like hearing the sound of post.
drop through the letterbox. There is that. God is always sending us messages. After all, the Bible is God's message for us. That sounds very much like a letter to me. Sometimes our letters contain bad news. Oh no, I haven't passed my sign test. I'm afraid you only had 7 out of 20. You need to try and do better next term. I've done all that practice and nothing. What practice? I never saw any. Sometimes we get things wrong, but God's message is we can always try again. But sometimes our news contains good news. Congratulations, you've been given a special award for all the good things you have done over the past year. Oh, well done. You really deserve it. You've worked so hard. We may get picture postcards. Oh, look. It's from Jenny. She's in Italy. The weather is lovely. Wish you were here. Typical Jenny. And she goes on to say how much she's missing us. Letters from our nans and granddads. Just a quick note to say we're always thinking of you and we're so proud of you. We get letters packed with news from our friends. Hi everyone. Just to let you know we're getting ready to come and see you as soon as we can. We really can't wait to be together again and share our news. And sometimes our mums and dads get those brown envelopes containing the dreaded bills. Oh, terrific. It's my phone bill. £198.36. I don't believe it. Who's been using my phone? I've hardly used it this month. I don't know how I'm going to pay it. The letters we really look out for are those special ones from people we love and people who love us. Good. It's from Alan. Look, he's written me a poem. Roses are red, violets are blue. You're all that I need. My love's coming to you. So romantic. And on that one special day of the year, we love to receive envelopes containing cards. Oh, look, I've got a birthday card. It's your day. You're one in a million. Enjoy it. You bet I will. The most exciting news of all doesn't come in the form of a letter at all. Jesus says that sometimes what we want is not what God wants. But he'll always show us how much better we can be. Jesus is always ready to say well done when we help and care for others. Jesus shows us new places and new people that we can love. Jesus will always be with us and what he teaches us can always help us be stronger and shows that we are never left on our own and that our friends are so important. Jesus shows us how we can be loved and how we can love others. So, be happy and show up for joy because in his eyes you're all so special. You have a new message. Do you want to read it now? It, it would be, be silly not, not to. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, but, oh dear, the camera's still rolling. Um, uh, where's Marty? Um, uh, guess I'll have to announce the song myself. And now, on to our n next song. <sighs> Oof. Hello everybody, good to see you all. We've got two songs to learn today. The first one, well, it's the second one actually, we're going to sing at the very end. And I'm going to teach it you now so you can forget it a little and then join in at the end. Are you ready? The words are very simple. It's 
off we go to share the news to share the news to share the news off we go to share the news that jesus christ is risen wow that's easy isn't it but we need to learn this other song now so that it's a lot better because we're going to sing this one well reverend helen's going to lead us as we sing this song and this one there's two verses for it okay so i'm going to read the first verse now and i want you to join in with me mary went down to the tomb to the tomb to the tomb mary went down to the tomb the stone was rolled away well, that was the first verse now here's the second verse for jesus died and rose again rose again rose again jesus died and rose again mary was amazed right okay over to you reverend helen to lead us in our singing surround us and keep us safe this Easter time. Amen. Hope you enjoyed the kid talk and now for a song to go out with. Feet. 